Hi, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy spring. It's Sandy Missouri, and today we are going to be talking about how to make an Easter basket or a spring basket or whatever kind of basket you want to call it, but it's a basket with eggs in it. <laughs> All right, so to do this, we're going to be using the linky balloons. These ones that, these are the guys that have the little tail on the end. And we've talked a lot about making duplets, so I don't think I need to show you that again. But just in case this is the very first video you've ever watched, the way that we make those duplets is that we take two balloons and we tie them together. All right, so for most of the designs that we've been learning, the size doesn't matter that much. You have a lot of flexibility in size. For this design, you don't. You have to be exact with your measurements. And I do have a video on how to make a balloon sizing template. So I would definitely refer to that so that you can get your measurements perfect on this. Um, it's really critical in this particular design. This design has a few elements that are a little bit tricky. Um, so uh, it's one that might take a little bit of patience, a little bit of practice. So this first layer of balloons needs to be two and a half inches. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Three and a half inches, okay? So these little, these little spiky balloons, our first group of spiky balloons are gonna be three and a half inches. All right, all right, so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna be making th three chains of four, okay? So we have them tied in duplets, and that's the whole thing about these linky balloons is that you can tie them together. So we're gonna tie those guys together. There's one chain of four, two chains of four, and here is our third chain of four. Okay, now we're gonna take these chains of four, stay, we're gonna take these chains of four and we're gonna twist them in the middle. Okay, so like I said, it's gonna be a little bit chaotic. All right, so it's kind of going to go like that. Now, it's not going to stay right now. That's okay. That's okay. It, it kind of looks like, I don't know, some sort of like weird atom kind of thing, some sort of science experiment molecule. I'm not so good at science. I don't know what molecule that is. Maybe one of you guys do. Feel free to comment and let me know. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to this a chain of six. All right, and I've already tied these together. And so how we're going to do this is we're gonna start, oh yeah, that's, sorry, I forgot to tell you. So this, this second layer is 3.75 inches, all right? 3.75 inches, so we had 3.5, 3.75, and we're, we're going up basically uh, just a little bit of time. All right, so we're gonna take this balloon and twist it to that balloon. Okay, now this right here is gonna be your very most confusing point. So if you want to, Remember which one this is. Uh, maybe you want to like tie another balloon to it or something because at the end we might get a little bit confused because these sizes are so similar whether we want to take that balloon or this balloon to end it. Okay, so this is just temporary. It just will let me know that this is the balloon. All right, so we're going to go around and do that until we've attached one of these little uh, atom pieces to the string, right? So we're going to go all the way around. So here we go. And now we're gonna take that one and go around. And now we're gonna take that one and go around. And that one and go around. And you see, I told you we'd get confused, right? So here's where we get confused. Because now this guy's sticking and be like, wait, I don't have anything to go around with. It's okay. That's why we tied these together. So we could remember, oh yeah, this is where my things stop and end. And now I have a knot in the balloon that we're gonna use later. That's all right. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to tw twist these two guys together. I'm going to tie these two together, right? And you see I still have this one kind of standing out. So he this is going to be a little bit tricky, but these balloons are good and squishy, so it's not going to be too bad. So I'm just going to take that and kind of put it around there like that. And I, I usually like to wrap it around twice just to secure it. Okay, so now you see that it's kind of still bubbly and popping out? That's okay. Now we're going to take it and kind of flatten it out like this. And don't worry if it's not lining up perfectly at the moment because when we attach our next layer, that'll bring it in all together, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our little yellow balloons, and you can use whatever colors you want. Um, we're gonna take our little yellow balloons. All of these yellow balloons are at two and a half inches. Very, very, very important, okay? Two and a half inches. And we're gonna tie them onto the ends of these green balloons that are sticking up. 
like so. One, okay, bear with me as I go off camera to pick up all my yellow balloons. That's one of the challenges of doing balloon videos. If I put everything on the table, they'd just be blowing off all over the place and that can get distracting, you know. All right, so we're just gonna go around tying our little yellow balloons to our little green spikies. And you see it's kind of bending a little bit out of shape. Again, don't get bent out of shape about it. <laughs> okay, sorry, I couldn't resist. It's late, you know. <laughs> All right, going around, doing this until we have it at all, on all six. Now this third layer is the one that's gonna bring it all together. And this third layer, I actually have already formed into a circle. Now you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you do that with the second layer? Well, the reason that I have them all different is because since I'm using the same color and the sizing graduation is so small, it's just we're going up a little bit at a time, I can't see the difference in sizes. So I needed to prepare them differently so that I knew which layer I'm taking, right? So that's why I had the second layer as a long string. I had the first one just in my duplets. And now this last layer, I've actually already formed into the circle. Right, so I tied them all together and then finished it. So now what we're gonna do is really simple. This should look very familiar. We're just going to wrap the yellow balloons around our circle points, like so. And you see that as we get in there, it starts to pull it all together. All right, so we're almost done here. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to mention that this design is also a design by my good friend Raquel Porter of Balloon Splendor in Seattle, Seattle's best balloon company, uh, and Mount Vernon, Everett, and Bellingham, and other places too. Um, and so here we go. This is the base of our basket. But I want to kind of dress it up a little bit down here, kind of hide my mechanics a little bit. So now I'm going to take some duplets of those same two and a half inch balloons, right? So these are five inch balloons that are underinflated. And these linky balloons are six inch balloons that are underinflated. All right, excuse me while I go a little bit off camera. All right, so what we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna kind of stick it in. And so this is a little bit tricky. I'll try to do it up here like this so you can see it. We're just gonna kind of stick it in and then pull it down like that. So you see it's, we got those two little bubbles there. Right, and we're gonna go all the way around doing that. And like that, and like that, and so on and so forth. And then, so the nice thing about the basket is that we can hide things on the inside. So like these knots, I usually just tuck them in. You can either cut them off or tuck them in, but I usually will just tuck them in. Let's do our last one there, okay? And just, I digress a little bit, but uh, I just thought of it. So um, do this in white and put different color trimmer on and you have a birthday cake. Put a candle up here. But we'll do that in another video. All right, so here we go. Now we have our basket base. So now we're gonna take our 350, right? Remember that's our long skinny balloon. You can either do it with a 350 or you could take two 260s and spiral them. But to make this simple today, we're gonna use our 350. And we're just gonna blow it up all the way and then give it a good burp, like that. Excuse me. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bubble here, and we're just gonna twist it around our yellow balloon, and then to lock it, I kinda like to pull it into the inside. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna twist a bubble here, wrap it around our little yellow balloon. It's okay that it's not the same size because this is going on the inside, right? And then I am gonna cut off the little nozzle here just because it's bugging me there all right so now we have our little basket super cute right all right that Raquel she's a smart lady all righty so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our eggs so let's talk about the eggs for a sec what we have here is we have 11 inch balloons that um, we're not gonna fully inflate and depending on how big you want your egg to be and how egg shaped I mean if you let's see let's take a fun color here this is a basque balloon those are kind of fun if you take it and just blow it up till it bowls out, 
and then tie it off, it looks just like an egg, right? The thing is, this is kind of out of scale with our basket. So maybe if we were going to put a layer of shred in there, and then we could put the little eggs around. So that's one way to do it. Um, today, however, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let's see, let's find a color. This is kind of fun, blue polka dots. So we have, you know, you have balloons in all different kinds of shapes and patterns and stuff. So, and I don't blow them up all the same size when I do this. I kind of want a little bit of variety and a lot, you know, I don't, I don't want so much the uniformity. And then you can kind of, kind of squeeze and squish it a little bit so it's a little bit more eggy. But, um, you know, these are, these are round eggs. I'm not sure which bird lays them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so then you're just going to put them into the basket. And here again, we can use our little sticky tabs, whatever kind of sticky tabs you like. And if this is the first video you're watching, then uh, it's not here again. It's here for the first time. If you've been watching some of, some of the other videos, then you've probably seen us do this a time or two. And when you're using the sticky tabs, the balloons don't always stick exactly where you want them to. Got some fun little patterns here. You know, so maybe, maybe like we have some robin's eggs and we have some uh, dinosaur eggs and I don't know, some crocodile eggs. I mean, that's kind of the fun of it is, you know, with your kids, you can make up stories about which animal laid these eggs or make up animals, you know? I don't want green, it's kind of, let's see, maybe this, this pink polka dot one is kind of fun. All right. Then we are gonna take off that uh, thing there. Just kinda glue that one down here. Okay, so there we have our cute little Easter basket. And you can just keep adding eggs, you know, we could put our little, our little damask egg, you know, for our fancy schmancy little tiny egg right there. I kind of like that. So you want to have fun with it, right? I mean, the, the, the rigid part, the part that absolutely is formulaic is the basket itself. Those, those have to be exact, okay? There is no room for variation in size or they won't form the circle. They'll buckle out weird because they won't have the right proportions. So again, just to remind you, our little guys that are, are, uh, that are kind of holding it, holding it together, our little polka dots, if you will, those are 2.5 inches. 3.5 inches are the balloons that make up the bottom and are coming up. Those, we're going to call those our spine balloons. Our layer one is 3.75 3 inches, and our layer two is 4.25 inches. And so there you go. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm.